This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy 30. And I read in Jesus' name. When all these things happen to you, the blessings and the curses that I have set before you, and you come to your senses while you are in all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and you and your children return to the Lord your God, and obey him with all your heart and all your soul by doing everything I am commanding you today. Then he will restore your fortunes, have compassion on you, and gather you again from all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. Even if your exiles are at the farthest horizon, he will gather you and bring you back from there. The Lord your God will bring you into the land your fathers possessed, and you will take possession of it. He will cause you to prosper and multiply you more than he did your fathers. The Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants, and you will love him with all your heart and all your soul so that you will leave. The Lord your God will put all these curses on your enemies who hate and persecute you. Then you will again obey him and follow all his commands I am commanding you today. The Lord your God will make you prosper abundantly in all the work of your hands, your offspring, the offspring of your livestock, and the produce of your land. Indeed, the Lord will again delight in your prosperity as he delighted in that of your fathers when you obey the Lord your God by keeping his commands and statutes that are written in this book of the Lord and return to him with all your heart and all your soul. This command that I give you today is certainly not too difficult or beyond your reach. It is not in heaven so that you have to ask who will go up there, get it for us, or proclaim it to us so that we may follow it. And it is not across the sea so that you have to ask who will cross the sea to get it for us and proclaim it to us so that we may follow it. But the message is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, so that you may follow it. See, today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and adversity. For I am commanding you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commands, statutes, and ordinances, so that you may live and multiply, and the Lord your God may bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away, and you do not listen, and you are led astray to bow in worship to other gods and serve them, I tell you today that you will certainly perish and you will not prolong your days in the land you are entering to possess across the Jordan. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today. I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you today, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live. Love the Lord your God, obey him, and remain faithful to him for he is your life and he will prolong your days as you live in the land the Lord swore to give to your fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God let us pray eternal rock of ages our father and our God we thank you for the gift of life we thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Indeed, this is the day that you have made, and we are glad to be alive today. We are grateful to be hearing your word and sharing your word at this time. Father, we have come to learn at your feet. Lord Jesus, we ask that you teach us your word. Show us, Lord, things that the ordinary eyes cannot see. 
in the name of Jesus. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Give us insight. Show us the deep things, O God, that we need to know. In the name of Jesus, let us experience you today like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, open our ears to hear you as you speak to us concerning our situation. Open our eyes to see you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I commit myself, O God, as a vessel to be used of you. Speak to me and speak through me. Let me not say anything of my own accord, but let me speak only that which I hear you drop in my heart. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, take the stage. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. So we just read Deuteronomy chapter 30. (laughs) Very direct. He actually doesn't need so much um, explanation. It's very, very direct. It's very simple to understand. However, we'll go go ahead and, you know, break it down. Praise the Lord. So the first part of that Bible, of that verse was talking about returning to the Lord. It started by saying, when all those things happen to you, the blessings and the curses that I have set before you, and you come to your senses, (laughs) I like that, and you come to your senses while you are in all the nations where the Lord has given you. You know, so the children of Israel were a stiff-necked people, as the Lord called them. They were always in and out. <laughs> they serve God today. They obey, you know, God's God's um, commands today. The next day they're out, grumbling and complaining and going their ways and all of that. They gave Moses a tough time, you know. So they were always in and out and in and out. But faithful God was always ever forgiven. Was always forgiving them, and Moses would beg on their behalf, and God would forgive them and be merciful to them. You know, He never left them because He wanted to fulfill the promise that He made to Abraham. And so he was always their God. He always, you know, loved them. He always loved them, even though they were going, you know, out of his will. And so it took them a longer time to get to the promised land. But they got there eventually. Praise the name of the Lord. And so he says here that when you come to your senses, that's why he says that. When you come to your senses, when you know what it is that you ought to do, because he had given his command. God has given his command through Moses. This is what you should do. Do not bow down before any other God. I am the only God. You must know you will know me as your God. And I will I will do this, I will do that. And so he's saying here, when all these things happen to you, the blessings and the curses that I have set before you, and when you come to your senses, while you were in all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you. And you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey him with all your heart and all your soul by doing everything I am commanding you. Returning to the Lord. Returning to the Lord. So what this what this is saying really is look, there's always an option. You see this life? There is always an option good or bad white or black do you understand there's always that option life or death in this case life or death and so it's saying so i've laid before you life blessings and i've laid before you curses which will eventually lead to death you choose you choose You know, in all his mercy and, you know, his love for us, God has also given us a gift of free will. The gift of free will. Unfortunately, mankind has really abused that. And he's a very patient God. Ever merciful. His grace stretches out. Stretches out. He's always willing to forgive. Always willing to accept us. That's why... You know, you come to him and he's always willing. He says, I will not turn my back on a repentant sinner. You have to understand that when God says something, he cannot go back on his word. That's what his word says. I will not turn my back on a repentant sinner. When you come to God and you repent of your sins, 
He will welcome you back and give you a fresh start. Praise the name of the Lord. And so he's saying to these guys, look, when you come to your senses, I will be here. I have laid before you blessings and curses, life and death. Use your senses. Come to your senses. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. Come to your senses. Why won't you choose life? Why won't you choose the blessings? This is what I have, I have to give you. This is what you stand to gain. It doesn't cost me anything to give you these blessings. It doesn't cost me anything. It doesn't cost me anything. The cattle upon a thousand hills belong to me. Come to me. Obey me. Listen to me. Have no other God beside me. I am the one and true God. I created the heavens and the earth. All power belongs to me. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what it is. That's what the Lord is saying. That's what he's saying. And he says, <clears throat> if you do this, if you obey me, it's so simple. It's so, I, in fact, I love this. I love, 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 love this. And I love the way this Bible has broken it down. It's so simple. It says, come to me. I will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants. And you will love him. You will love the Lord with all your heart and all your soul. He's a jealous God. I don't want to share. I don't want to share your attention with anyone. When anyone else. I don't want to share your love. Love me only. Because he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is all there is. He is all there is. He says the Lord your God. This is Moses. God actually gave this message to Moses to relate to the people. So this is. Moses telling the people of Israel he says the Lord your God will bring you into the land your fathers possessed and you will take possession of it and he will cause you to prosper and multiply you more than he did your fathers more than he did your fathers and then he says I will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants the Lord your God will put all these curses on your enemies who hate and persecute you. So the causes that were supposed to be for you goes to the enemies. Anybody that hates you inherits the causes. Then you will again obey and follow all his commands I am commanding you today. The Lord your God will make you prosper abundantly in all the work of your hands your offspring and not just your offspring the offspring of your livestock and the produce of your land what a mighty god what a blessing what a blessing i wouldn't want to go anywhere else i wouldn't want to take any other option as a matter of fact for me there's no option it's either god or god it's either you, Lord, or you. That's my option. You are my option A. You are my option B. I have nowhere else to go. Praise the name of the Lord. I mean, reading this and seeing all this, and not just because of this, but because of who he is. He is faithful to his word. He doesn't go 10 years down the line and say, Oh, okay, you know what, child? Come, let's have, a, let's have this discussion. Uh, I think we need to change the terms of our agreement. No, he doesn't do that. He's, he's faithful to the end. He is faithful till the end. There's no, there's no decrement in him. There's no reduction in him. There's no decline in him. There's no decline in him. He doesn't come down. His power doesn't fade away. He's still God. Ever powerful. Ever powerful powerful solidly solid <laughs> i just heard that solidly solid praise the name of the lord hallelujah amen when you obey the lord your god by keeping his commands you know sometimes when they say okay obey the lord obey the lord what do you mean obey the lord what do i have to do 
you know, to be seen as obedient. This is what it is. That's what he's saying here. Obey the Lord your God by keeping his commands and statutes that are written in this book of law and return to him with all your heart and all your soul. When the Bible says thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not steal. When the Bible says thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not kill. When the Bible says thou shalt not convert thy neighbor's wife or goods or anything, thou shalt not convert. Praise the name of the Lord. When the Bible says you must know and serve the Lord your God only, thou shalt have no other God besides me. That's what you must do. Those are the commands. And then, look at something very interesting here. It says, It is not so difficult, praise the Lord. It says, This command that I give you today is certainly not too difficult or beyond your reach. What am I asking for? What is the Lord asking for? It's not impossible. Even the Bible acknowledges it is not so difficult for you to do. I'm not asking you to go across the sea. And that's why it says here as well. It says it is not in heaven that you have to ask, oh, who's going to go up to heaven to get it for us? It is not across the sea. So you don't have to ask, oh, how do we get across the sea? It is not far away. It is not in the ground. It is not invisible in the air that you say, oh, we can't see who's going to you know, go get it for us. No. It says, but the message is very near you, in your mouth, in your heart. It's in your mouth. It's in the things that you say. It's in your confessions. It's in your praise. It's in your worship. It's in your acknowledging God. As the only God, the Almighty God, the Alpha and the Omega, all powerful God. It's in your utterances, it's in your heart, saying what you mean and meaning what you say. When you say, I love you, Lord, let it mean that I love you, Lord. When you say, I have no other God before you, I am committed to you. Let it mean that I am committed to you. It's in your heart. The Lord sees the heart of every man. He searches the hearts. And even your intentions. Even the ones you haven't thought of yet. He knows. He sees your heart. So if you have a highlight. I would like you to highlight that verse of the Bible. Deuteronomy 30 verse 14. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 14. He says the message is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, so that you may follow it. Mm. It's not far at all. God speaks to us. He speaks to us. So, except you don't want to listen to it, to him. A lot of people tell me, oh, I don't. how do you know what God is speaking? How does God speak to you? How does God speak to you? How does God speak to you? My sheep know my voice. My sheep know my voice. You cannot hear God speak to you if you cannot re- recognize His voice. If you cannot spend time with Him. This morning while I was worshipping, I, w- I was asking, Lord, a deeper knowledge of You. A deeper knowledge of You. And He said to me, It comes with spending time with me. It comes with spending time with me. And that's what I'm saying to you this morning. You want to hear God speak to you? It comes with spending time with Him. (laughs) Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. It comes with spending time with Him. Spend time with God. You wouldn't need no one to tell you you know anything that is not real spend time with God you have to you have to spend time with God only then can you recognize his voice when he speaks to you 
Spend time. Don't be too busy to create time for God. Don't be too busy to create time for God. Remember, one thing is needed. Just one thing. To be at the feet of the master. Spending time with him. Never leave the feet of the master. In all that you do, stay there. In all that you do in life, remain there. Stay there. Like a tree planted by the riverside. Stay there. You will flourish. You will get insight. You will know what to do at every point in time. Spend time with God. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, our Father and our God, we thank you for the gifts of life. We thank you, O God, for your word this morning that has come expressly. We thank you because the entrance of your word always brings light and understanding. O Lord my God, as we have heard your word, may we not just be hearers, O God. Give us the grace, the strength to apply your word to our lives. The wisdom you have released to us today, help us to make good use of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, that will no longer grope in the dark, but will be sure of where we're going. And when you speak to us, we'll be able to identify your voice clearly and soundly. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, there, child of God, you, you have it. Go out there and remember to spend time with God. Spend time with God. God needs your time. He's watching out for you. He knows you have heard this word and he's watching to see if you will do as he has told you. And God bless you as you obey. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. Bye-bye.